Hi everyone, it's Joe Esty here with Paradiso Presents, and today I'd like to show you a little trick that I use on almost a regular basis. Uh, how to shorten links for use in your digital marketing aspects for your insurance agency. Now, you might be wondering, you know, what is the point of shortening a link in the first place? And just to give you a brief rundown, um, what we do with our shortened links is we post them in the social world, we can use them in email marketing campaigns, but one of the main reasons we do it is because it takes a long URL, something that could be very drawn out, even up to four lines or something like that, and it makes it this little tiny link. So first I want to show you how this service works, and then I want to tell you about some of the other benefits behind this service. So first let's take a look at a link. I'll just bring up my LinkedIn really quick here, and I'm logged in as Chris Perry so so let's say I wanted to link someone to one of our recent publications here first I'll just navigate over to one of our publications here we have one on knowing your value proposition and I'll take this link and copy it now this link is pretty long so if I were to post this in social media an email something like that it's not that pretty for our customers clients and our prospects to take a look at so let's take it into our shortener service and what we do is we paste the link in the box here and to get to this page again you just go to bitly.com or you can just go to bit.ly that's b-i-t dot l-y and it'll bring you to this home page and then what you do is you copy your link like I have just here and come back over and hit paste in the white box and after that you have a link that's nice and short and it goes to the same exact place so you can click copy here and just to show you how this works, I'll open a new tab and I'll paste the link that we just copied, the shortened link. And when you click on enter, it brings you right to your target destination. Now, here's the other great thing that's really strong with this service is it's got trackable metrics for every link that you create. So let's take a look at the link that we just created. Again, I'll just paste it into the bar here. Now, if you want to take a look at the analytics or metrics behind the links that you shorten, all you'd have to do is paste the link first, and then add a plus sign at the end of the link, then click enter. Now you can see the, mat the metrics associated with the link that you've shortened. This is a fresh link, so if you take a look at it here, we only have one total click, and it was me just now. So let's take a look at one of the projects I've had going on for a while, our birthday campaigns. With our birthday campaigns at Paradiso Insurance, what we do is we not only shorten a link, but we, ta we post it directly to someone's Facebook if it's their birthday that day. Then we'll tag them saying happy birthday, tag the user, so let's say it's Sarah Smith's birthday. We'll just say happy birthday, tag Sarah Smith from Paradiso Insurance. And we'll tag our agency, that way it links our agency back to the post. And then we'll, we, we have a GIF that plays, and if you're curious about GIFs, you can look up our video, How to Use GIFs in Marketing by Paradiso Presents, right on YouTube. Um, and what we'll do is we'll post a GIF, so that's moving when our prospects get there, and it, it's more engaging that way. And then we have a shortened bit.ly link that we include our video, uh, our birthday video in, within that link. So let's take a look at our birthday sendouts really quick here because I want to show you the power behind using bit, Bitly's service. I have this small document that I've set up here to make my birthday postings go a little bit quicker because I have the GIF saved and I have our Bitly link saved. But this is a link that we've been posting on Facebook to several different places every day because we connect with all of our customers, clients, and prospects on Facebook. And whenever their birthday comes up, we make sure to post this link to their page. So this link has been seriously passed around on Facebook now. So let's track the metrics on this link by adding another plus sign at the end of it, like I mentioned earlier, and take a look. Now we can see we have 371 total clicks since I started this campaign. We can see where the clicks happen depending on the date. We can see what social networks the link was shared as long as you're signed in. And also who shared the BitLink content. And it'll give us, it, it gives us analytics based on Geographics, the time, where this, what social media, who is pushing it out, and what the link was to begin with. So this is how to use Bitly links, and I hope you make the most of it in all of your digital marketing. And to all of our agents out there, happy marketing.